What's going on, everyone? Happy Sunday to everyone. Hopefully, everyone is doing well, staying safe, healthy. If you had taken a COVID test, hopefully, you have tested negative. If you did test positive, I really hope you have a full and speedy recovery with no long COVID issues. It is time now for the Sunday edition of the Pandemic Update for Sunday, June 23rd, 2024. If you're new to my channel, this is where we do the daily pandemic update on all things COVID and any other virus that could be a health threat to you. Let's face it, there are a lot of different viruses out there, and each of them carry a risk to you, and you hardly ever hear about them in the news. But meanwhile, they are in circulation, and people are getting sick and infected from these viruses, which is why you need a place that gives you the daily information, the news that's out there, the data, anything that I can find, I present it to you each and every day. So if you want to stay informed, subscribe to my channel down below. Give these videos a thumbs up if you like them. Let's go ambitious today. Let's try for 150 to 200 likes today. We'll, let's try for over 150 today. See what happens. Uh, share these videos with anyone you know. Leave a comment down below. And remember to hit that notification bell to be notified when I do my latest daily update. All right, it is not a terribly busy news day today, but we do have several things to show you, including the weekly look at wastewater. This is where we spend more time than normal in a video. It used to be the whole entire video, but now we've added some more things to our videos, so we don't make it the entire video. But this is where we spend more time than normal on wastewater. So we're going to get through a few things first, and at least the second half, if not sooner, will be dedicated to wastewater for COVID and other viruses. First off, tuberculosis case in Grand Forks, this is up in Canada, is being monitored by Interior Health, and it does seem like they do average, um, it says here they average about 15 confirmed cases per year. So that's uh, rather interesting. But a hey, tuberculosis case, it is out there. Taking a look at this, in Yolo County, California, there is another confirmed case of measles. Actually, make that two confirmed cases of measles. And this was from international travel. And there have been several cases so far this year in California. I believe it says becoming the 10th and 11th person diagnosed with the disease in California to date. So, yep, measles, it's still spreading. You know, we don't talk about it every day, but it seems like when we stop for a while, all suddenly it pops back up in the news once a Alrighty, comedian, ventriloquist, puppeteer, whatever you want to call him, Jeff Dunham, person I have seen live long before COVID even uh, came to town, unfortunately has had to cancel three shows. He's, quote, dealing with a massive cold. These shows were to be in the Green Bay area. Let's read, because I tweeted about this last night, and I did do a little screenshot of some of the article, because I want you to see this. To my fans and all the good folks who bought tickets to our three shows in Green Bay for this week, timing is terrible, and I'm terribly sorry. I got hit with a massive Massive cold just yesterday. All the typical symptoms. When that happens, the dummies don't talk so well. <laughs> I want you guys to have the full great show, so please accept my apologies for the inconvenience. And we've already rescheduled for July 18th, 19th, and 20th. Hope you can make it and your tickets are good for those corresponding nights. Well, we can only hope one, and that is that it's not COVID, but unfortunately, as we know, due to insurance purposes, contracts, a whole bunch of different reasons, they're not allowed to say COVID for in most cases. So in this case, uh, we can just hope it really is a cold and not COVID, but again, it's summertime, so we'll have to see. All right, moving on to this now, just a final tally of yesterday's poll that was done. Have you encountered delays with healthcare as of lately? Could be anything from doctor's office to a specialist being booked months in advance. And as you can see here, 85.9% said yes. 14.1% said no out of 220 votes. Reminder, 
want to research something on one of these viruses, maybe it is you're looking for a COVID study because you're about to head to a doctor's appointment and you want to pull up a COVID study and have it at the ready for that doctor or specialist and see, hey, maybe this COVID study, you know, I was researching and I found this COVID study and it kind of describes what I'm going through. You think there's any chance we could investigate this and look into this for my issue? You can do that on my website data report.info there's all kinds of stuff there i'm constantly adding COVID studies matter of fact i added one today very late last night we'll say 1 50 in the morning uh you can also look up you want to know did someone have COVID? well go through the COVID archives now it's only goes back to when i first started the website but i'm going to slowly try and work in some more and more of those previous cases from the past. Eventually, I do intend to get to that COVID outbreaks. You want to know if someplace had a COVID outbreak? Well, you can at least go back to when we started the website. You can learn about H5N1, bird flu, and guess what else you can do? You can also go over here, click register, and you can become a member of my site, and you can add stuff as well. It is a fantastic source. It is drama-free, so there you go. All right, moving on now to this. Let's take a look at today's pollen levels. And we can see the pollen levels across the United States. 47% of the country is in low to medium status. Air qualities for today. We can see that on the West Coast, California is still having some problems. As I advance this towards the East, you're going to see a lot of problems in the East. It's not a good day for air quality. Generally from Texas, back through Arkansas, Memphis, Tennessee, Nashville, right on up the Appalachian Mountains. And New York State is really bad. Of course, there is a big, severe thunderstorm threat there today. And I have to remind you of that as well. You can follow my other place on Twitter, dash X, Climate Data Report, and go to my other channel. I will be updating that other uh, X account all afternoon talking about the severe storms. I already did a forecast video for today's storms on my other channel. That is Climate Data Report. Subscribe there for updates. You can see here it is higher than normal threat of tornadoes in new england today if you are in that area and you are seeing this video please anywhere in vermont new hampshire massachusetts even maine please take this seriously this is an unusually high threat of tornadoes for that area take a look at philadelphia today if we can still waiting for them to update they have been late today nope still no update i'll retweet it out like i always do sometimes on sundays they don't come in till the mid-afternoon taking a look at what's going on in montgomery county pennsylvania right now and wow i'm seeing something i'm not liking here not one not two but three cardiac emergencies multiple respiratory difficulties strokes so yes it is not a good morning in montgomery county pennsylvania sometimes it's not the volume of calls it's the type of calls and 13 calls and it's starting to creep up there now and we do even see dehydration what's going on in chester county yeah chester county is busy as well heart problems heat problems a lot of different things heat problems it's actually showing up twice all right moving on now let's start to head over towards our waste water update and we'll start off by taking a look at what's going on in pennsylvania because we can take a look at the pennsylvania dashboard and you can see here for the most part pennsylvania is seeing no changes but there are some places that are seeing increases one of them being dolphin county which is where our capital is harrisburg center county is seeing an increase and then we come up here mercer county pennsylvania then unfortunately westmoreland county which is near pittsburgh is seeing a large increase at this time so never good to see a large increase and allentown lehigh valley is starting to see an increase and it's also started to increase in scranton we do note that this week there is no change in southeastern pennsylvania that is a good thing because remember abington township was seeing a large increase in the previous weeks real quickly walgreens this week the national positivity rate was 30 percent that was up by 2.9 percent so it did go upward once again and i suspect on tomorrow's update it's going to also go upward a little bit as well taking a look now at the cdc wastewater map and you're going to see a lot of colors here on the right if you're new to my channel which let's face it there's a lot of people that are new to my channel you may have never seen this before well i'll explain what the colors mean to you first off you're not going to see on a color code on the right is these gray sites those are wastewater sites that do not update and all these sites here 
are just strictly for COVID on this page. This page just strictly looks at COVID. The white sites, which are new sites, there's 51 of them, 0 to 19%. That's the dark blue sites. That's where COVID levels are still really low. And there are 325 of those sites. And you can see in the Great Lakes and Northeast, and really in the East, there's still a lot of sites that are really low. But then we do have another color, which is 20 to 39%. That's a little bit of a lighter shade of blue. There's 419 sites in that category. And in both of these categories, uh, the number of sites are decreasing. Not a good thing. That means COVID levels are going up or less sites are reporting. 40 to 59%. That's these lighter blue colors. 231 sites in that category. You can see Texas has quite a few of those. Uh, Louisiana has some. Virginia has some. And the West Coast has some as well. But then we see 60 to 79 percent COVID detected. There's 108 sites in that category, and red—that's the highest possible level. It comes higher than orange, which is 80 to 100 percent sites, or 80 to 100 percent COVID increase detected. That's 53 sites, and you can see out here. Uh, the West Coast, Utah, is really getting hit hard at this point. Wow, take a look at this. Let's actually take a look at some sites in Utah. We can see Salt Lake City area just rapidly going up. Yeah, this is not good. And these are decent-sized uh, wastewater sites, too, and they are seeing significant increases. I think in this upcoming week during the pandemic update, I think it would be a very good idea, very wise, if we... Um, Actually, try and see if Utah still has a dashboard. I think someone told me they do still have a dashboard. Someone left a comment, so I will look into that. Davis, Weber, wow. I'm just really fascinated with how much uh, Utah is going up. I've been looking at this on the map for days and days, but that's actually the first time. I'll be honest with you. That's the first time I actually zoomed in on Utah. What we did look at the other day, not on video, but I want to show this to you, New York City. Here we go. New York City is seeing mixed pictures right now. You can see some of these wastewater sites in New York City do look like they may be starting to drop. Remember, they went upward, and they dropped a little bit, and they went upward again, and look what's happening here. Some of them are starting to drop. Here's another one, Kings County. This one's not dropping yet. And this one in Queens has pretty much been all over the place. And here's another one in Kings starting to go up. And this one is dropping as well. Let's see, do we look at these others? Here's one, New York. This is a bigger population site. 655,000 population. And it is going up upward now let's see let's where else do we want to go we want to go down to florida and a lot of these sites in florida do not update here all that frequently we have another way we can look at that it is called wastewater scan but first we have to do the averages and you can see here there are all 50 states and there are different colors these dark blue colors so for example new mexico has just three sites reporting well out of those three sites the average comes to very high levels of covid being detected Missouri, just one site. They don't really update all that much at this time of year, and it's very high detected. Connecticut also does not update that much at this time of year. Florida, 18 sites reporting, and that does result in an average of very high COVID levels, still very high levels in Hawaii, very high levels in Alaska, and high levels in California, Nevada, Utah, Colorado, obviously you saw what was going on in Utah. Utah will probably go to very high soon unless something changes. And we're starting to see high levels in New Hampshire as well. Wyoming, Idaho, Texas is entering high levels, as is Tennessee with just four wastewater sites. I really wish Tennessee would get their act together and have more wastewater sites because they don't have enough. I would love to know on you know something that updates regularly What's going on in Nashville? Nashville, in my opinion, is a huge party town. If you're from Nashville, let me know down below. I'm always constantly seeing on social media people posting pictures. Oh, I just had my bridal shower. I just had this or that bachelor party in Nashville. There has got to be constant circulation of COVID in Nashville, especially during these waves like right now right now we are in the summer wave of COVID. all right moving on over to wastewater scan and let's go to hawaii and see what's going on there shall we and then we will take a look at the national levels on wastewater scan why are we skipping over to hawaii well if anyone's been following this channel they know hawaii has not been doing too good lately here's one honolulu site which Actually, it looks like it may be starting to drop a little bit, but it did have a big increase. And you're going to see some erratical movements on these charts. That's just something 
that we're learning to live with when it comes to wastewater scan. Sand Island, look at this. Aha, uh -huh. this was seeing a big increase. Now maybe it's starting to drop, but again, hard to say with these erratical movements. We'll have to wait for several more updates. Take a look what's going on with other viruses. Influenza A happens to be showing up at a high level here, and there are detections of it, so that's not good. HMPV is dropping. Norovirus is moderate to high at this time. No MPOX, and just a few hepatitis detections, but that is going way back with those detections. Continuing on here, yeah, again, we're starting to see some leveling off of these wastewater sites in Hawaii. And let's see one more. I don't think this one actually works. No. All right. Going back to the nationwide level. Nationally, what is going on with COVID at this time? Well, we can see here, COVID nationally, it continues to increase. Remember, we saw it have show straight up, then it corrected down. Well, they've corrected it fully now. And it's continuing to rise. And it's starting to pick up the pace a little bit. So that's not a good thing. We are definitely in the national summer surge of COVID. RSV is relatively low at this time. Influenza A, influenza B. HMPV, norovirus, and all the others are low at this time. We don't really worry too much about influenza at this time of year, aside from bird flu, which is something that's evolving daily. The Midwest is doing one of these goofy movements now, and the Midwest has not really seen its big rise yet for COVID. RSV, influenza A, influenza B, all not a big issue. HMPV has been continuing to drop there, and norovirus has been on a steady decline there. In the Northeast, taking a look at this, COVID, it's rising in the Northeast, and the other viruses are not a big issue at this time. In the South for COVID, taking a look at this, the South has been seeing a continued significant rise. Look at this. Wow. And I mean, this is multiple updates, so the South is rapidly rising at this point, as would be expected in the summertime. Although, I will admit, it is happening a little bit earlier than usual this year. The South is seeing their increase for COVID at this time, and the other viruses are not much of an issue at this time. Moving on to the West, and out in the West here, we can see here that, well, we see one of those wonky movements, but the overall trajectory has been up for COVID in the West. And those look like influenza A, I have to mention this, it is seeing a rise there in the West Coast, so that's something worth watching and norovirus was dropping and again one of those wonky movements so eventually they will correct that let's go up and see what's happening up in boston massachusetts and then we will go over to new jersey shall we and in boston we can see at this time COVID. it's just ever so slightly rising not a big rise but just ever so slightly rising RSV, influenza A and B, not an issue. HMPV is dropping. Norovirus is still medium, but dropping at this time. Now let's go down to New Jersey, and we'll see what is going on there. There's a site right near New York City. This is Newark. We want to take a look at this. We can see COVID. It's starting to rise there. RSV is low. Influenza A is low. Influenza B is low. HMPV rising ever so slightly. Norovirus is medium. And there are some detections of MPOX at this time that go back to, when is this? I think, yeah, these go back to May and April, and just a few hepatitis detections. Now, moving on, let's go south a little bit. I'm just going to do a couple more here, and that's it. Let's see what's going on in Georgia. And in Georgia, this is Atlanta area. Uh, let's change wastewater sites. That is not really updating. Let's go to South River. Can we take a look at this? Now again, can't look at that either, because it looks like the data is getting chopped off for some reason. Okay, so we can't look at Atlanta area. For whatever reason, their data is chopped off. Let's go over to Village Creek, Birmingham, Alabama, and hopefully we can see some data here. Slight rise for COVID at this time. RSV is flat, influenza A is flat, influenza B is flat, and you can see here just a couple detections of hepatitis A have been detected. And now we'll do one more look in Florida. This time we're going to go down to Miami area if we can, and we'll take a look and see if any of the other viruses are an issue. While COVID continues to rise in Miami, RSV, influenza A, influenza B, all low at this time, slight rise for HMPV, norovirus, and it's, you know, it is high at this time. And everything else aside from hepatitis A is not an issue. Alrighty, folks, that does it for the Sunday edition of the Pandemic Update. We'll have more of these wastewater sites throughout the week. Uh, Chicago, we did you the other day. We'll do you again in the middle of the week. We'll try to get to the Pacific Northwest in the middle of the week. And some of these other states that I have not 
gotten to. There's a lot of states we did not do today. I mean, you can only fit so much into a 20-minute video. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more content like this, subscribe down below. Share these videos with anyone you know. Leave your comments down below. And don't forget to hit that notification bell. We will have another pandemic update again tomorrow. Until I see you again tomorrow. Stay safe, everyone, and thanks for watching. Happy Sunday.